Hello Techies. In our previous tutorial, we have learned about get folder metadata using path. By using this action, we can get the information about the folder by using get folder metadata using path action. Now, in this session, we will learn how to work with get file metadata using path action, which is available under SharePoint actions. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. By using get file metadata using path action, we can get the information about a file such as size, e tag, created date, ease folder, file locator, path, name, and etc. We can get the information about the file by using get file metadata using path action. Now, before learning about get file metadata using path action, we will see the small scenario about that. Let me go back to my Power Automate desktop tutorial site inside my SharePoint. There you can see I'm having the folder called Power Automate desktop, that is PAD, and also I'm having a file. In our previous tutorial, to get the information about the folder, we have used get folder metadata using path. Now, in the same way, I want to get the information about the file in a such a case that we are going to use get file metadata using path action, which is available in SharePoint actions. Now, if you see the parameters, at the first parameter, I'm having site address, another one, file path over here. The site address is nothing but from where this file that we are going to retrieve from the SharePoint site. Now, I'm having this Power Automate desktop or the file which we are going to use inside my Power Automate desktop tutorial site. Let me copy the URL in such a way, organization.sharepoint.com slash sites slash Power Automate desktop tutorials is the site, all right? Inside that, I'm having a shared documents inside that I'm having Power Automate desktop folder. If you open that once again, I am having employee.xlsx is the file, all right? Or you can find n number of files along with the folder. As of now, we are going to retrieve only the information about the files, all right? Let me go back to the Power Automate desktop actions. There, I'm going to give the site address. Now, the second parameter is the file path. Now, we are going to give the path as shared documents slash Power Automate Desktop slash inside that I am having employee.xlsx file. And the output, which we are going to get it as an output as item ID or the custom object that will be stored inside my get file metadata by path response. All right, let me click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run. Flow execution started. As of now, I have not disabled the get folder metadata using path and the list folder actions. Now, the flow has executed successfully and we got the output in such a way that is get file metadata by path response. Before that, let me show you that flow variables. Let's double click on that. Now, if you see the variable as an output over here, now I got item ID, ID, name, display name, path, last modified date, size, media type, ease folder. The important one is that ease folder. If you observe, we have got the information about the file so that it is not a folder. In that case, it will come as a false. E tag, and finally we have the file locator. Now, I'm going to keep get folder metadata by path response as well as get file metadata by path response side by side. Because both looks are the familiar, then what is the difference for these two things? In both areas, we are having item ID, ID, name, display name, path, last modified by. And after that, you have the size, and also the important one is ease folder. If you see in my get folder, we have ease folder as true. Whereas in get file metadata by path response, we have it as false. Now, along with that, in get file metadata by path response, we have media type, 
is tag and file locator as additionally to identify the files all right let me click on close i hope you understand how to retrieve the information of related to the particular file in the shared documents which is available in the sharepoint we can retrieve it by using get file metadata using path action